Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week and as I predicted, things finally started moving. <laughs> so as usual, let's start with dramas that have gone live during this week. On 26 October, a drama went live on iQiyi. It is a contemporary romantic drama starring Qin Lan, Wang Ziyi called Fang Xin Dang Yang. English title, Hello, My Love. It's Wang Ziyi and Qin Lan's second time working together in an iQiyi production. The last time was We Are All Alone. They weren't a couple in that drama. They were actor and manager. This time though, they are a couple. And it's yet another story with Qin Lan leading it and it's an older lady, younger guy dynamic. So very similar to the drama that she did with Wang He Di last year. In terms of watching the drama itself, I'll see if I can get around to watch it. May not be able to. Two days after that, on the 28th, also a drama went live, which is technically today. Just gone live a couple of hours ago online in China. And this drama is also an ITE drama. Another contemporary romantic drama called Yu Jian Ni Zhi Hou. Literal meaning would be since I met you. And the English title is Since I Met You. <laughs> Very literal translation. This drama is led by Zhou Junwei and Jin Zixuan. The trailer reads very lovely. It has a lovely vibration. It has that youthful contemporary romantic drama vibe. Uh, I hope it turns out to be a good one since it only just aired. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. Zhou Junwei, uh, he's not huge or super popular, but among the younger actors these days working and also coming from an kind of idol selection background, he's a unique one, okay? <laughs> because Yu Nian Zhao Hun, one of those people who got married really early so that uh, they don't need to worry about it because they come into the industry married already type of thing. That part of the worrying sum of if I get married, I'll lose my fans doesn't happen to him. This is a drama that's on my list. I'll try to check it out and see if it works on me. Then three days after that, so that would be on the day of Halloween, <laughs> a drama will go live on Tencent. 你在冬夜里闪耀, literally meaning you sparkle on a winter night. And the English title is just Winter Night, and it's led by Qiao Xin, Ma Si Chao. It's a parallel universe time travel story. Basically, the female lead encounters some big challenges and let's say valley of her life, dark night of her soul stuff. And then she traveled into a parallel universe where her family background is changed. The not so nice original family she comes from becomes rather nice. All the wrong things that happened in this version didn't happen in that version. And even her sweetheart that she didn't get in current timeline actually ended up there and she started to have a relationship with this person that she always loved. So she gets like a second chance of her life. By the point that they finally got together and seemed everything is happy, then she kind of has to go back to her original line, that type of story. With time travel, you always have that problem. So this is gonna be another or such story that just recently I've noticed the couple somehow things happen in cluster. Well, let's see if Chao Xing and Master Chao can pull this new couple off well. For this type of drama really is details, how believable your performance, the emotional things that you can bring. Try best to tie up the logic. Paradox is unavoidable, but just depends on how you articulate the version. Fingers crossed, it would turn out to be a good enough one. Then two days after that, going into November, on November the 2nd, if nothing weird happens, a drama should go live on Youku. And that's the recently I've talked about second collaboration between Peng Guanying and Cai Wenjing, Bu Qi Er Zhi, Unexpected Falling. Very similar vibe to their first collaboration where the guy comes in approaching the girl, but he is not a normal person. He comes in with a hidden motive, that type of tension. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of tension <laughs> between these two actors. Personally, I never really digged their coupling, but if it worked on you for the first time, well, looking forward to the second time very soon. Then two days after that, on November the 4th, the long-awaited doctor drama that got super, super, super delayed because of COVID. Thank you, doctor, led by Bai Yu and Yang Mi on CCTV 8, which is China Central Television, plus all three platforms, iQiyi, Youku, Tencent. Let's see if uh, they can pull off a doctor drama properly to me. You know, it's always the type of if they make significant mistakes, I'm never gonna be 
nice and let them pass easy type of drama. That's one of the natural default position I have as the daughter of a doctor. But I really do hope this drama turned out to be a good one. One thing I can probably guess is they are gonna make them look so much more sexier and prettier than what normal doctors look like in China. Honestly, doctors are so overworked in Chinese medical system right now. No matter how pretty you look like, before you get into this. As soon as you start working in this profession, you're gonna look awful <laughs> with dark circles and baggy eyes and terrible skins and every day just walking your dreams with over times and stuff. Then let's talk about a couple of other things about other dramas at different stages of production. In no particular order, first is the license to air has come down to the drama. Till the end of the moon, favorite drama led by Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu. They would have to plan when to throw this out to hit its maximum potential. Could be tomorrow, could be five months, six months down the line. You never know that. That there is a drama that has just wrapped shooting during this week. And when it airs, I will for sure check it out type of drama. I've already mentioned it once. Chen Feng Shi San Zai, 13 Years of Dust. And I think it's an ITE short drama, a crime, mystery, thriller type of drama led by Chen Jianbing and Chen Xiao. They both play policemen of an old case that resurfaces and causes them to go back and investigate. A very classic mystery and thriller crime story structure. And this time they're both in uniforms, for sure. <laughs> so nobody is like undercover or like like the Bing Yu Huo situation. We're gonna see proper police drama of these two Chen guys and cannot wait. And it's a short drama and it's contemporary, so it's likely to finish post-production very soon. Let's just pray IT do the right thing and release it as soon as possible. Then there's a drama that has just released a trailer during this week. It's projected even platform is not yet actually announced. It's called de Mi De, and English title is very accurate translation, Warm and Sweet. It's a contemporary drama focused on two ladies who are very good girlfriends, and then their life and how they meet their lover, partner. So at the end of the story, we'll become two girls and two guys. It's led by Song Qian and Chen Yanxi. They're gonna play the girlfriends who are very sweet. If you watch the trailer, you can feel the vibe is really good. And then the two guys they're gonna fall in love with is Jing Chao and Lu Yi. Not quite sure how well that's gonna work out. I don't have anything against him, but Lu Yi has been around for a long time. And he definitely has moved to the middle age category of actors past his little fresh meat days. Uh, hasn't had a really good work in recent couple of years that makes him as a male lead shine. And he kind of is in his bottleneck part of his career. As for Jing Chao, he is the guy from Rui. He's also the guy from Dong Ba Chi. <laughs> he was also in this year's that that rebirth revenge drama playing the emperor. He really needs to be casted for the right type of role to work. And if it's the wrong type of role, it tends to be rather disastrous. And this drama hasn't announced when exactly it's gonna air. It just throw out its first trailer, so it could be very soon. Right next to that is a new piece of <laughs> news also including Song Qian. A drama has just started shooting during this week and she is the female lead of it called 我们的翻译官. English title is Our Interpreter, also very accurate. And the male lead of this contemporary drama is Chen Xingxu. And this drama features artificial intelligence, business, and interpretation. So go figure what it may turn out to be. This drama only just started filming and then the drama I just said about released a trailer. So it could be a situation of this year they aired the already made one next year, Song Qian's next drama. She's been doing well, hey? She's having so many new roles and dramas in recent years. Although there's one thing I noticed for Song Qian is she hasn't changed her hairstyle pretty much in recent years dramas since the find yourself drama always has the same hairstyle. <laughs> Can we just just like change it up a little bit? It's looking like she just copy pasted her looks in different dramas of hers. It'll start to get a little bit boring. Also, there has been yeah, like I said, this week finally a lot of things start moving. <laughs> a new drama started shooting during this week, and I am very, very, very uh, excited about this project. 
It's a short drama, only 12 episodes. It's a period setting crime thriller mystery revenge story. Hey, hey I like that. Called Jiu Yi Ren. English title Faithful. And it's gonna be a Tencent drama. Cool thing about it is it's led by Wu Qian and Li Jia Hang. <laughs> Li Jia Hang. <laughs> One of those actors, I just thought he could do so much more and better and not yet there and he's getting middle age. This drama really intrigued me, not just because of these two working together, but also the synopsis looks quite interesting. The female lead as the main character. The whole story is her revenge on somebody who raped her best friend. And she was in planning for seven years to set up this whole thing, like the Mei Chang Su level revenge, to find out the real culprit and then revenge on that person. And Li Jia Hang probably would be the guy work on that with her. Period drama short, crime revenge, you know, like seven years in planning, if the script is good, could potentially be a super sexy drama. Think about the Tang Gui, the strange tale of Tang Dynasty, but concentrated even more down to a third of its length, just focusing on one case. That's a seven years in planning revenge. It would be very sexy. And I'd much prefer this type of shorter, but so concentrated and specific drama. So these are the news I've caught uh, this week of a lot of dramas starting to move, <laughs> like I expected. Also, just before I sat down making this video, I've just watched the live stream on Weibo hosted by a quite well-known middle-aged drama critic guy in China inviting Strange Tale of Tang Dynasty's male lead actor Yang Zhigao and the director Bai Shan and the actor who plays Liu Shiba, the motel running three twin brother guy actor. They did a one-hour live stream on Weibo and I was in bed listening and watching while getting ready to get up. It's just sad that I made my review video a little bit earlier than this. Say if I made it next week, I would incorporate what they've talked about in the live stream into my video. Well, I can predict the future after all. But there are a couple of things I'll just add on if you're interested in knowing is first, they are definitely planning for the second season. So for people who want to watch the second season of Strange Tales, very likely, like 90 5% likely it's gonna happen. They are already writing a script, hasn't finished a script, and they're gonna keep the original cast. They do plan to move the second seasons of story to other geolocations of the Tang Dynasty, which will give you a very different feel. At least that's what they are saying they try to aim for. Most of the first season happened in the capital city Luoyang, Chang'an, and the very southern place of China, the rainy seasons, the kind of watercolor painting style of the Chinese uh, <clears throat> landscape and stuff. But this time they're gonna move it to the west because Tang Dynasty historically has a huge sized empire, very west out, even more west than the current Chinese border west. The Sunset, the Gobi Desert, the Xinjiang, the Silk Road, culture that comes from ancient Middle East type of thing coming into China. So that would be very interesting to see if they manage to do that. And it's overall a rather good live stream, get you a lot more information about their production, their ideas about their storytelling and what they went through making the drama. So. I don't know, maybe in the live stream next time we can talk about it. If by November people are still interested in a strange tale of Tang Dynasty. That should conclude this weekly report on Chinese drama. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.